Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I entertain the boys on a long haul flight. Today, we're going to be traveling the furthest we've ever traveled with them. We're traveling for about 15 hours in total from London to Turks and Caicos. So we fly to Antigua, refuel, but stay on the same plane and then carry on to Turks and Caicos. So when we travel, we always get to the airport a full three hours before we're going. We love the airport, we love the whole experience and with young kids, it's just good to get through security and get organized before your flight so we always tend to get there have breakfast have a coffee and then find a soft play in the airport both London Heathrow and London Gatwick have these little soft play areas and it's really nice to give the boys a run around before they're confined to an airplane seat and also one of us can look after them and then if there's any bits we need to get from the shops the other one can go and get those or if anyone wants to get perfume I was very excited about this trip as you can see and now we're making our way to the gate to board our plane the boys were using their travel scooter cases again they're called zinc flight cases they're a bit more pricey but we have so got our use out of them and they can also use them when they arrive at the resort but now we're on the plane I started out next to Jackson and Fraser and I'm just going to talk about what worked to entertain them on the plane so I ended up bringing a ziplock baggie full of Lego because Jackson Jackson really enjoys playing with his Lego table at home, so I thought that would be a good one. He also watched a little bit of Tangled on the in-flight entertainment. And before we left, I got some brand new pens from Smiggle. I think they were two for five pounds. And I also got some brand new coloring books just to make it that bit more exciting for them. He also loves playing with stickers on the flight. Jackson is nearly three years old. And when we played with the stickers, I used my little hack of taking off all the sticky bit around the stickers to make it easier for his little hands to play with. Caleb was really chill on the flight. You can see he's watching a film there and British Airways did give them kids meals but to be honest take lots of food and snacks with you because our boys only really ate the raisins and the baby bell out of their meal and they much preferred having the homemade sandwiches that I brought for the flights. So just make sure you bring loads of food. Jackson also spent some time looking out the window and also being entertained by his brothers. Here he was sat with Fraser, just messing around with him, and he also ended up playing a few games on the in-flight entertainment, which I really wasn't expecting. He could even do Bejeweled, and he also played an animal game where you form an animal. Before we left, I downloaded loads of games onto our iPads and iPhones as well so that he could play with that, but he did actually quite enjoy the ones um, that were on the plane. He also watched a few shows. Make sure you bring headphones because planes are so noisy and especially the in-flight entertainment you can't watch it without headphones. So he watched a little bit of Bing and he also watched Peppa Pig which is his favorite but again before we go I normally download shows onto our iPads and iPhones so that they can watch them if they want to. Caleb spent a lot of time coloring. He really enjoys coloring and again I bought him a brand new coloring book and pens as well so he spent a lot of time doing that and we also like to play a game the three marker challenge um, so he did that as well he also watched the revolting rhymes tv shows which he loved and about halfway through the flight jackson was very tired i've talked about this before on my channel but we bring this little travel bed for toddlers. It's just an inflatable footrest that you put at the end of their chair. It works best on a window seat and then it makes a little bed for your child and for two to three year olds it is brilliant. Fraser was so good on the flight but he is eight years old and he is quite happy to play on his iPod watch shows. As you can see, we've had a little bit of musical chairs here. Jackson is awake and now Caleb is also next to me and Fraser is with Matt. So we tend to move around quite a lot on the flight. Jackson really did enjoy playing with the Lego. He kept rebuilding it, breaking it, and then rebuilding it. But I guess whatever your child is into, try and bring some form of it for a flight if it's possible, um, because this definitely kept him occupied for a long time. The big boys also loved playing Uno and Double as well. I think I've mentioned them in carry-on videos before. Um, Caleb did some more drawing, <laughs> and Fraser loved playing this football game game on his iPod. Dad. 
Where are we going? I'm not going on holiday. Yeah, we're going on holiday to no. see Elmo and oh, Cookie Jackson Monster and yeah, Big Bird. Oh so we've finished the first leg of our Just trip. We stopped in Antigua to refuel for about an hour, but at least we didn't have to change planes. We just stayed on the same plane and I was worried how the boys would take it that we weren't getting off, but they were actually so good. And because people did get off at Antigua, we had a bit more space and Caleb was able to stretch out and have a nap for that last little bit of the flight, which was an hour and a half to Turks and Caicos. During that flight as well, Jackson and Fraser invented this little fishing game. They were pretending to fish with their shoes, so it was really, really cute, and I was glad that Fraser was helping me entertain little Jackson. He also played a few games that I downloaded on the iPhone. He likes Zoo Train, he likes the Intellecto app, he likes Hopster. All of these apps I have actually paid for, but I don't mind doing that because then you don't get all of the ads um, while he's playing it. But then we arrived in Turks and Caicos and I just had to film this. How amazingly beautiful is the sea? I've never seen anything like it. It was like bright turquoise. You could see coral, you could see the white sands. And I was just so pleased because it was all worth it. And we made it. Somehow Fraser's still awake. <laughs> right, so we've just arrived and come to our room. This is the boys' triple bunk one two three and we've also ordered a crib just in case jackson doesn't sleep well on that um, and they've got their own little like space tv closet and all of that is jackson they're full of beans they did so well on the plane this elmo. is our bathroom oh, elmo. we're gonna see elmo aren't yeah. we and then this is oh, our bed oh, here's the boys oh, hi oh, and then this is the view of the pool. We're staying in the Italian village at Beaches. And yeah, it looks amazing. First impressions are very good. Hi guys, it's the next day now. It's about 5 a.m. on our first day. Last night we got in, quickly changed, went to an Italian buffet, and then just crashed because the kids were so tired. But they did so very well on the flight. Hopefully you saw that. Um, but yeah, I was really nervous about how I was gonna explain to them that we were gonna have to land and then wait and then get off on the next stop. Um, but to be honest, I didn't have to worry. They were totally fine. They were really, really good. I think we traveled for like 15 hours in total and they did so very well. So I was super proud of them. Um, I know I always say this, like when I take them traveling, I'm always like, the thought is definitely worse than actually doing it. Um, but I'm, I'm always like nervous to say that because I don't want to jinx how good they are at it. Um, and I don't want any of you guys to like go on a long trip and then be like, you said it would be fine and it wasn't fine because there was this one woman on our flight last night. She had four kids and two of them were really young. And as we got off the plane, she was like, I think I'm just gonna have to stay here because I can't do that again, <laughs> like the flight, bless her. Um, but yeah, we're here. It looks stunning what we've seen so far. So yes, we're off to explore the resort. I think the first breakfast buffet opens at 6.30. So we will be there. Might catch the sunrise on the way. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will definitely have more vlogs of our stay here in Turks and Caicos. So subscribe if you're not already. But thanks a lot. Bye. Mm-hmm.